One of the people in the Vatican most familiar with the crisis in Iraq is Cardinal Leonardo Sandri, who leads the department responsible for Christians in the East. He thinks the Pope's visit to Iraq in March will mainly be a gesture toward Christians in the region, who have suffered so much these last years. In 2014, ISIS military men drove out thousands of Christians from their lands and burned down their houses. Very few have had the courage to return. The Christian presence has been almost completely dismantled, with so many who have fled Iraq and are now on the outside. Estimates show that in 2003 there were 1.4 million Christians in Iraq. Now only about 150,000 remain. Their unique way of the cross began after Saddam Hussein's fall. Their situation became a martyrdom on June 29, 2014, when ISIS announced the creation of the caliphate. In a single day, on August 6, between 100,000 and 120,000 Christians fled from the Nineveh Plains. The region was liberated in the spring of 2017. Three years later, 45% of the families have returned to the area, and 54% of homes have been rebuilt. However, Cardinal Leonardo Sandri explains that war and violence have created a gap between the people, and that the Pope will help them reconcile so they can coexist once more. The Pope's visit will promote this hope for coexistence between all human beings. Being children of God, they share the same dignity and are brothers and sisters. Iraq is a Muslim country, and the Pope will undoubtedly meet with representatives of Islam. A possible meeting with leader Ali al-Sistani in Karbala, a holy city for Shiites, would be particularly significant. The Pope has never excluded encounters with Islam and its representatives on any of his trips. In Iraq, home to Shiites and Sunnis, al-Sistani, the great Shiite leader venerated by the faithful and the holy place of Karbala, aren't on the agenda. But we never know until the last minute how this flexible schedule could change closer to the date. Preparations for the trip are in progress. For now, the Vatican spokesman says that from March 5th to 8th, Pope Francis will visit Baghdad, the capital, Ur in the land of Abraham, Mosul and Karakosh, the cities from which persecuted Christians fled, and Erbil, where they took refuge. Looking for the perfect Christmas gift? Your search is over! Wish your family and friends a Merry Christmas all the way from Rome with Rome Reports Premium. This app gives you exclusive access to all events, art, and culture inside the Vatican, including sneak peeks into the Pope's life and much more. If you want to be informed this holiday season, this is the perfect gift. Gift someone with Rome Reports Premium and celebrate this holiday season by exploring the Vatican Unseen with exclusive content, new documentaries, and the latest videos. Go to www.romereports.tv or download the app on Android or iPhone and subscribe to the service today.